This is my Parrot 2 teleprompter. It's a great piece of equipment and there's a little problem though and that is when I am trying to talk to the camera and I'm reading. Sometimes I can't read that fast or sometimes there's a point that I want to elaborate on and I wish I could just pause or skip back or skip forward um, in my script. So when I had a look at this, I'm in Australia and the Parrot 2 comes with a remote control but unfortunately they don't sell them in Australia and there is some apps that you can buy which you can use your voice to control the speed of the text scrolling up the, tele up the screen of the teleprompter uh, but the problem with that is you can't skip back, you can't pause it just slows down to how fast you're reading and depending on how your voice uh, how quickly you're reading through the text so I needed something that I would be able to pause and skip back and unfortunately with all the apps that I was trying online the only one which is the Smart Teleprompt Pro has got an app however it does cost uh, three US dollars a month and I thought it was a bit too much just to have the ability to pause a teleprompter so I've gone and tried a few different solutions and one of them is uh, share the screen of one phone to another and that way I could control the phone that's actually in the teleprompter as you can see here from another phone that I'm holding and I'll just run through what happened with that so here are two phones and the app that I'm using is Inkwire so you get given a code and I just have to type that in over here the problem I found was when I had the teleprompter on and the teleprompter um, let's just play something So what you can see is the teleprompter is on landscape here. I'll just fast forward that. But it's in portrait there. And if I try to turn this to make it go into landscape, it can't. So I would have this phone in the teleprompter and control it with this. So I can control it. However, it wouldn't work in the camera. So that's the problem there. I tried, I then um, tried another one. So let's go through. I'm going to stop Inquire. This one is, is another screen sharing app. Here it is. I'm going to share there. Start now. Assist here. Share. Okay, it's 1275. Connect. Okay, so that's working, allow, and there we go. So now if I start my teleprompter, again it's the idea of being able to control it from this side. And unfortunately with this one, it doesn't show it at all. So I've tried this with a few different um, apps, and eventually I didn't worry about it and I didn't want to pay the three dollars per month that's US dollars so it ends up being like five dollars per month just to have a remote control so this is my phone holder um, basically it opens up and do it with one hand and you can put your phone in here but it also comes with this little button and the button allows you to take photos or so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start my phone and I'm going to go to Bluetooth I'm going to open this up uh, this actually comes out, might be a bit easier and if I hold it, the button down it turns the Bluetooth on and when it does that it, I've connected it, I've paired it and once I've paired it so it's connected as input device I then go to my teleprompter and I can then uh, use this, so let's see a bit of text, to pause it and to start it. So that's great, at least it's something, but the only problem is it does this media thing at the top, I'm not sure why. But at least I can pause and start it with this. The other option is trying a mouse. 
So with a mouse, I've just got a, uh, an Apple mouse here. I'm going to turn this off by holding down the button. Okay, it's off. And I'm going to turn this one on. And I'm going to go into Bluetooth. And I'm going to connect the mouse. So you can see connected as input device. Then I go back to my teleprompter and just let it run. I can now use the mouse to click to stop and click to let it roll. Problem is if I try to scroll, it doesn't do anything. Sideways, up and down, if I try and right click, it goes out. If I try to double click, two tap, really it's just one click it stops, one click it starts. So that's fine, you can probably just hold this in your hand and just do this to pause it and to go, that's fine. But the only problem I have with it is it's quite a loud clicking sound. So another option is to use an actual keyboard. So I'm going to turn the mouse off and I'm going to take an Apple keyboard. So I think they call this a magic keyboard. I'm going to turn it on. I pause that and I'm going to go into Bluetooth and I'm going to use the Apple keyboard. It's connecting. Uh, now it's connected. And so we go back to our teleprompter and let's see what the keyboard can do. So with the keyboard, I'm just going to hit the space bar and it pauses and it's silent. Now if I use the up and down arrow, I can skip back and forth. So I have more control, it's quiet and I could potentially have this on my lap or on the side somewhere. Okay, so there's a few options there. Um, when I try to look online at a Bluetooth uh, controller, uh, especially if you type in teleprompter remote control, uh, they can be quite expensive. I think they're like $100. And as you can see here, um, there's one for $190. This one is $47, could potentially work for you. Uh, this one's 69 but They'd have to be Bluetooth. The one I really wanted was this one. It comes with the teleprompter. Um, it comes with the Parrot V2, uh, but you can't get it in Australia. So at least we have some solutions. Okay, thanks. Bye.